six o'clock in the morning. Hello. You come for breakfast? Is that right, dear? Yes. You want your breakfast too? Oh, yes. You having a good time? You having a good time? You having a good time? Hmm? You having a good time? Yes. Yes, you can have that. It's a boy. Come on, Charlie. How about you catch one? Still not catching the biscuit. Come on. That's it. There we go. Charlie got his biscuit. bread fragment. Look at your hands. What have you been doing with your hands? They're red. What have you been fighting again? Hmm? Have you been fighting with someone? It's okay. <laughs> Somebody's trodden on your tail, have they? Chuck some noisy eaters. Sometimes they'll actually pick up one of those biscuits, take it over and throw it in the water dish, wait for it to soften, then pull it out and eat it. They actually uh, effectively cook the food. At least they soak it. You'd like another one? You are a lovely boy, aren't you, Dyson? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. You're a lovely boy. You do like being fed. Okay, well that's uh, that's the six o'clock feed. And there are three does 
and three joeys who haven't put in an appearance yet. Have that. Yes, look, see, you saved yourself a bit of bread. Hmm? You do like that bread. <laughs> yes, your hands are red. From scraping at somebody else. That be enough? Hey? That'd be enough. Okay, you come back later. Yeah, come back later. When you got one of the other does. Because hmm? you're the only one who knows how to knock on the door, aren't you? That's a boy. There you go. Who says kangaroos don't understand what you say? I will put this on pause and see what happens in due course. Did you hear that? That's old mate knocking on the door again. At 20 to 7. Hello. And look at that. See, we have Mrs. Whitetail. And we have Katie and Kerry. And we have Dyson. So what he's done is... There you go. That's it. That's a boy. He turns up with one doe and he knocks on the door and he gets fed and she gets fed and then they back off and they wait and then when another doe turns up he comes and he knocks again and he gets a commission because they don't know how to knock on the door that's apparently a boy thing. Dyson was taught how to knock on the door by Rowan of Rin when Dyson was just a little footling. And the girls haven't figured it out. Some of the girls will jump up on the veranda and just sort of stand there and wait. Aha, look, here we go. Here's Dyson's mum. Yes, yes. Dizzy likes to be fed. Isn't this cute? We have a multi-stage breakfast. Don't we, dear? Hmm? Ouch, don't bite. Yes, you like your bickies. That's a girl. Another one. It's a girl. Be enough? Hmm? Is that enough?
is an art form in biting biscuits in half and dropping them on the ground and then wanting another biscuit. Dyson and his mother are absolutely excellent at it. What's the matter? What have you heard? That's a boy. Oh, okay. At a quarter to seven in the morning. I wonder who will come along next time. Catch you later, fellas. Twenty-five past seven, and we have a Bigfoot. Hello. You would like some seconds, would you? Okay. Here we go. Dizzy up here for her seconds, and I suppose while we're here, we'll have a look at that healed foot. And that healed foot. She's doing okay. And I suppose she figured that everybody else had had a second feed, so why shouldn't she? Aha! There we go, a swamp wallaby. I thought I'd heard a swamp wallaby arriving earlier on. Come on. The swampy probably won't come up. Aha, uh -huh, I see. This is Whitetail. I still have to hop off. That's it. Bloody old Mrs. Whitetail. She's a greedy old bitch. And yesterday she actually broke my dinner plate, hopping and jumping and carrying on. Come on. Back in here. No. You're going to rip me. Thank you. See, they don't actually like me to touch them. That's it. Come on. Get your head out of the door. <coughs> no, this is for the birds. Charlie's got his. Yeah, Swamp Wallaby still got her bread. Okay. So that was the third feeding. Isn't that right? Third feeding? Okay. I might pause here. Here we go. We have Mrs. Dogface. Mrs. Whitetail wants another bit of bread. Yeah. Two hours. And we still haven't fed all the kangaroos. There we go. Here we go. And we have bloody Mrs. Dogface has got it. Mrs. Dogface is acting like a bush ranger. Fruit Loops really freaked out. But there we go. I've given her a bit of bread, which she's running away with. And she's lost. The kangaroos haven't found it. Now she's having a drink. After 10 minutes of running around, now we've calmed down. Come on. That's a girl. Yes. You finally got your piece of bread. Okay, and we're now on the upload limit. So Warble's on a lot to YouTube. The time compressed morning marsupial feeding. 
out.